Good afternoon. My name is Victoria Howell. I'm the instructor for the A. Richard Newton Distinguished Innovator Lecture Series, a Berkeley Changemaker course hosted by the Satarja Center for Entrepreneurship and Technology here at UC Berkeley. It's my pleasure to welcome you to campus this semester and let you know that in this course, we invite distinguished innovators to share lessons from their own successes and failures. Past speakers have included Mozilla Foundation creator, Mitchell Baker, Twitch founder, Michael Seibel, former CEO and also a Cal grad, Eric Schmidt, and our very own College of Engineering Dean, CJ King Liu. Today, I wanna to tell you about the most successful failure I've seen after watching this class for about 16 sessions. Every time somebody comes to speak, we learn something new. Students will find patterns out for themselves. But in this special talk, Ben Horowitz visited us. Uh, ben is a Berkeley boy, but he's also the co-founder and general partner of the venture capital firm Andreessen Horowitz. Ben tells us in conversation with Michael Franklin, then chair of the CS department, about one of the entrepreneurs and, and, um, and co-founders that accidentally founded a unicorn. Watch and enjoy. See you soon. Says Ben, like I've got $6 million left. Um, I'm not, I have no like way to raise money because I've made really no progress because of these issues. It's gonna cost me more than $6 million to finish the game. So I've got like three choices. I can like pray for rain and try and finish it. I can shut down the company and give you your $6 million back. Or we built this tool that we use like in our engineering team to like communicate with each other and make like engineering work a little better. Um, and I could like just put that out as a product. <laughs> And I'm like, what? I was like, you just like built some tool to like talk to each other and like you want to put that as a product and you're like a consumer guy and you want to become an enterprise software guy. He's like, yeah, I think it'd be a pretty good idea. I was like, well, I was like, like $6 million is, it's not gonna make any difference in my life. If you really think it's a good idea and you really want to do that, go ahead. <laughs> so he puts the game out, the, the tool out, it's called Slack. Yeah. Um, and it grows like <laughs> fastest growing enterprise software company of all time. There you go. Most successful failure that we've heard about in the Newton series would definitely be Slack. There are a couple things that you learn from failure. First of all, if you want to be an entrepreneur, you're going to fail. And if you don't fail, you're not learning. Um, but what is important about failure are a couple of things. Remember where you start is rarely where you end up and listen to people along the way. No need to be defensive, soak it all in and pivot as you need to. And as you're working on your company, assuming that you're not working on it on your own, make sure that the co-founders you're founding the company with are people that you know you can be with in the long run through thick and through thin, good times and bad. You don't want people who look like you, act like you, talk like you. You want a diverse group, but you also wanna make sure that you're friends. And you also want to really rely on your advisors, whether they're formal advisors through a VC that's invested in you or an angel um, or informal advisors and past professors along the way. Be open with them, talk with them, listen to them. Not the easiest thing to do, but it is the number one leadership trait that there is, the ability to listen. Thank you for listening and really hope we get the opportunity sometime to see you face to face. Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Log on to the website to learn a bit more. Take care.